everyone. You're just in time. We're doing our exercises. <sighs> Reach up to touch the sky, then down to touch your toes. I like exercising. Me too. <laughs> oh. oh! Are you okay? I don't know. Suddenly I feel really tired. Huh? Like I have no energy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, here's the problem. Rob's robot batteries are low. No wonder you're feeling tired, Rob. You're running out of energy. <laughs> Come on, Rob. A little time on our robot charging pad and you'll feel as good as new. <laughs> That's strange. Usually I feel all charged up when I stand on the charging pad. Hmm. Uh, uh oh. I think it's broken. It's not sending out any power at all. Oh no. What will we do? I get my energy by eating healthy foods like fruits and vegetables. But I'm not a robot like you guys. Yeah, and we robots need energy. And you know what else we need? A new charging pad! Yeah. That sounds like a mission! <laughs> and you know what that means! Yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? Our charging pad is broken, and we need to find a new one. Fast. Okay, let's see where you can go. The jungle planet has lots of plants, even lily pads, but not any robot charging pads. Mmm. <laughs> A tasty sandwich would sure give me lots of energy, but it wouldn't charge Rob back up. The power planet? I bet there are lots of robot charging pads there. Mm -hmm. Yes, the power planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Is making. It's the Tower of Power. There should be some charging pads over there. Mm -hmm. Come on, Rob. I'm coming. Wait for <sighs> me. Oh. oh no! Rob can hardly move. Don't worry, Orbit. We'll get Rob recharged and re-energized, won't we, Rob? We sure will. Let's <gasps> go. Hold on, Rob. We need to conserve what little energy you have left. Oh, good. <sighs> but how, TK? Hmm. Hmm. Aha! Huh? <laughs> hey! Hop in, Rob. <laughs> we'll give you a lift. <laughs> <sighs> Yay! A charge pad! Oh. Oh. What's wrong, T? 
TK? Why isn't it recharging Rob? Oh. There's just not enough power stored up right now, that's why. I'm the caretaker here. It's my job to make sure all the power generators are running. But I've been so tired lately. Is that why there's no power? I've got no energy. I can't recharge my batteries, and I can't keep up with all the work. The power planet generates power three ways. Through solar power, wind power, and good old-fashioned wheel power. Together, they make enough power to run the whole planet when they're working. Maybe we can help. Yeah! Oh, that'd be nice. Then rest easy, caretaker. Oh, no, you don't, Rob. You save your energy. We'll fix the generators. Come on. <gasps> When the windmill is turning, it makes energy, but it's stopped. I know. The old girl needs someone to grease her gears. I can do that. I have lots of energy. <laughs> Those are big flowers. These solar flowers collect energy from the sun, just like real flowers. And the bigger they are, the more energy they collect. Why aren't they working? I don't know. Hmm. Why don't I go take a look? Hmm. What do you see, Orbit? I see... dirt. Yeah. These flowers are really dirty. No wonder they're not getting any sun. Hmm. Come back down, Orbit. I think I know what to do. Okay, I greased the windmill gears. Now what do I do? <laughs> what? Oh, 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 good work. Now give her a whirl and see if she twirls. a bit more energy. What did we forget to fix? Hmm. <gasps> the big wheel! <laughs> <laughs> Orbit, what are you doing? Creating energy! Look! <laughs> it's fun, but it sure takes a lot of energy to make energy. <sighs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! Huh? Oh. <laughs> 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 Rockin' robot! I feel fantastic! So do I! I am all charged up and raring to go! <laughs> Thank you, guys! I feel so much better now! For helping me get the power plant running again, I'd like to give you this. A brand new charging pad! Oh. Wow! I'd say this is a big... Mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, 
What did you learn on your mission? <laughs> when I ran out of energy, my robot batteries needed a boost. But Rocket's charging pad was broken, so we went to the power planet to find a new one. We found out how important energy is to everyone and learned all about using wind power, solar power, and big wheel power to generate energy and get the power planet charged up again. And me too! Well done, everyone. It's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Just in time, TK is teaching us about the moon. Even though you can't see the sun at night, the moon glows because of the sun's rays. But during a lunar eclipse... Uh, ahem? Yes, Emma? Lunar eclipse? I thought we were learning about the moon. We are. Lunar is another word for moon. During a lunar eclipse, the sun moves all the way behind the Earth blocking the sun's rays completely. That's why an eclipse moon looks so dark. Ooh! <laughs> like this dark? <gasps> ah! Orbit! Turn the lights back on! Oh. oh. I can't! I can't find the switch! It's too dark in here! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's my antenna! Stop! <laughs> Not funny, Orbit. If I wanted to see a lunar eclipse, I'd go see a real one. Hey! That's a great idea! Seeing a real lunar eclipse? How amazing would that be? Uh... Super amazing! And that sounds like we have a mission! You know what that means! Yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see a lunar eclipse. Oh, I've always wanted to see the dark side of the moon. Let's see where you can go. The cheese planet? The moon kind of looks like a giant piece of cheese, but it's less stinky. Ooh. The astronomy planet? That's a good place to watch a lunar eclipse from far away. But we want to see one up close. <gasps> That's not a planet. That's the robot moon. We can't get any closer than that. Yay! <laughs> yes, the robot moon. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
didn't think the robot mood would be this bright. Ooh! It's like a giant nightlight in the sky. This isn't so bad. It's not dark at all. Good point, Emma. We came here to see a lunar eclipse. How do we make it do that? Hmm. I think I know. Uh -huh. Check this out. These buttons must control the robot moon. Ooh. Can I try yeah. that? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Aha. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh. Hey. Hmm. Nothing happened. Uh. Huh? Hmm? What? Wow! Orbit, <gasps> something did happen. There's no gravity. Gravity? Gravity is what holds us to the ground. Or if there's no gravity, like on the moon, you can <laughs> float around. <laughs> Orbit must have hit the no gravity button. Remember, this is the robot moon. We can make it do anything. <laughs> that was so much fun. Much better than playing in the dark. Let's see what else the robot moon can do. Oh! Funny. I think one of the stars is missing. <laughs> Maybe that one was a shooting star. <laughs> and let's try another. <gasps> we hit the sun. It's a lunar eclipse. We did it. Mm -hmm. Rob, no. It's too dark. I can't see anything. It's okay, Emma. There's nothing to be afraid of. But I don't like it. Where's the on button? Oh, oh, sorry. Ah. 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 What's that noise? It's a star. He seems really upset about something. It's okay, little star. You don't have to be afraid. You're with friends. Oh! oh my God. Ah. <sighs> Whoa, he's a speedy little guy. Oh, that poor little star. I don't think he likes the dark either. He should be up in the starry sky. But how do we help him? He's too fast to catch. Maybe if we turn off the sun again, he might come back to turn it on. Eclipse the moon again? <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -hmm. It's okay, Emma. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're right here beside you. Here, you can even be in charge of pressing the button. Mm -hmm. On the count of three, okay? Okay, I'll do it for the little star. One, two, three! Oh, it's okay. We just want to help. Good little star. You're with friends. You don't have to be afraid. <laughs> Great job, Emma! I knew you could do it! You were right. The dark isn't so scary when I know my friends are close. But what are we going to do about this little guy? I get it. He's the missing star. But how are we going to get him back up there? I can help with that. Great job, Rob. 
Now we can finally get back to our mission, enjoying the lunar eclipse. Uh, are you sure, Emma? Of course. With my friends and our little star watching over me, what's there to be afraid of? That's the spirit, Emma. And I'd say this is another big mission accomplished. Yeah! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to see a lunar eclipse, so we went to the robot moon to see one up close. Lunar is another word for moon, and when a lunar eclipse happens, the moon becomes very dark. But we didn't realize how much the dark bothered Emma. And it turned out she wasn't the only one afraid of the dark. Having her friends near and turning off the lights on her own gave Emma the courage to deal with her fear. And in turn, we were able to help the little star. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three. Two, one! Yay! Goodbye, little star! Goodbye, robot moon! Hello, everyone! You're just in time! Come on inside! We're playing Explorer! An explorer is someone who looks for things that have been lost for a long time, like dinosaur bones. <laughs> or treasure! Hmm. Ooh, is that real treasure orbit? Huh? It is to me. It's my lucky coin. Real explorers never take the things they find. They leave them right where they found them and do a rubbing instead. With a crayon and a piece of paper, you can rub just about anything that's bumpy to make a picture, even Orbit's coin. Huh? Huh? Wow! Cool. <laughs> amazing! Now we can take this home to remember our amazing discovery. Wouldn't it be fun to go to a place where we can explore for real? Great idea, Emma! That sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Us to pick a planet. 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 Mission Control. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can go exploring. Oh, now that does sound exciting. Let's explore the possibilities. The cheese planet? That's a good place for a snack, but not so great for exploring. Puzzle planet? We want to explore ruins, not riddles. The Explorer Planet! That's perfect for our mission! <laughs> yes, the Explorer Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Hello, Explorer Planet! We're ready to explore! And 
we have all the things we need to make rubbings of our amazing discoveries. So, huh? which way is it to all the amazing hmm. discoveries? Oh. Uh, oh, I know. My lucky coin will tell us. Ta-da! Oh. It helps me decide on all kinds of things. Star means we go that way. Moon means we go that way. Ooh. Hmm? Okay. We, we go, go that, that way. way. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Wow! Rock and rockets! Look at that! <gasps> it's an explorer's dream. Your coin hmm. orbit. Everyone has something special they like to hang on to. But don't worry, we can still have a fun mission. Yeah, we're just getting started. And if we keep exploring, maybe we'll find your coin. Uh, but how can we find my lucky coin without my lucky coin to make us lucky enough to find it? Blazing Comet! <gasps> Look what I found! Ancient markings! Those are perfect for doing rubbings. I'll make a rubbing of the circle. I'm gonna do a square. And I'll make a triangle. That one reminds me of my coin. This will be a reminder of our exploring expedition. And of my lucky coin, too. That's the spirit orbit. See? Things aren't happening after all. Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Ooh. Amazing! Oh. <gasps> Look! Orbit made a discovery! I did? You sure did! Look! The star symbol opens the secret door and the square closes it! means. Hmm, maybe a snake? Or mm. a river? Or a... <gasps> wow! Sure isn't good luck. Neither's being trapped inside this ruin with no way out. Aww. Oh, if I still had my lucky coin, none of this would have happened. Yeah, maybe Orbit is right. Now you're all being silly. We don't need luck to help us. We just need to find a way out. But how will we ever find the way out without my... <gasps> lucky <gasps> Yippee! Our troubles are over. Now that I found this... Oh! Huh? Huh? And that's not all we found. Take a look at this. Huh? Huh? <gasps> look at all these shapes and symbols. Hmm. Pressing the star shape open the door to get in. Maybe pushing another star will open another secret door. Yeah! There's a star right there. <gasps> Look! It's on the way out! I'll go for help. You guys wait here. Oh no! Rob's boots are broken! 
Maybe there's a hidden staircase or a ladder somewhere. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, it's a triangle. Just like that one up there. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah. Huh? <gasps> it's an elevator. Nice going, Orbit. That's the way out, all right. But how do we get the elevator to come back down? Oh, what does your lucky coin say, Orbit? Can it show us the way? Hmm. Uh, no. We don't need a lucky coin to tell us that. Look, I remember. Press star shape to open, and square shape to close. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Orbit figured it out. Okay, everybody, on to the triangle. Are you ready? Let's, Let's go. go! <laughs> Who needs a lucky coin when you've got brains like mine? <laughs> Orbit. Hooray! And these rubbings will remind us of our biggest adventure ever. Yeah! You know what? I'd say this is another big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Today we visited the Explorer planet and discovered an ancient ruin. But when Orbit lost his lucky coin, he was worried that bad things would happen. And they did. We got trapped inside. Then Orbit found his lucky coin again. Orbit thought he needed it to help us find the way out, but he really didn't. That's how Orbit learned that it's a lot better to use your brains to solve a problem than to hope for good luck. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Explorer Planet! Hi, everyone. You're just in time. Emma's teaching us a new song. Another song, Emma? Sure, there's lots of fun songs to learn. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> Great, Rob. Now let's try a new. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Oh, his name is my name too. Rob, why do you keep doing that? I don't know. It just keeps popping out. John Jacob. Something's wrong. I better take a look with my robot reader. Oh no! That song is stuck in Rob's robot memory bank. We need to fix you, Rob. And that sounds like we have a mission. Whenever we go out, <gasps> and you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? I have a tune stuck in my head, and we need to find a place where we can unstick it. It sounds like you need a tune-up. Let's see where you can go. The wind-up planet? I think that song has Rob wound up enough. Mm -hmm. The sandwich planet? We need to fix Rob's memory, not fix his sandwich. 
planet. Perfect! Yes, the repair planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. from my memory bank. I don't know if that's a good idea. I need that song out of my head for good. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, how do you feel? I feel great! And is the song gone? What song? <laughs> And who are you guys? <laughs> Good one, Rob. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> this Rob sounds like a funny guy. Where is he? I'd like to meet him. Oh, no. Huh? I think Rob erased his whole memory. Who erased his memory? Who's Rob? Uh-oh. You remember me, though, right? I'm Norbit. Hi. It's nice to meet you, Norbit. Not Norbit, Orbit! Ah! <laughs> He's funny. I like Norbit. Orbit! Ah! Phew, that's lucky. Rob's memories are still there, but for some reason, he can't remember anything. Oh, no. Poor Rob. Yeah, poor Rob. We should go help him. Come on! Orbit, we will. Every robot repair manual in the galaxy is stored in this library. So while I look for the one we need to fix Rob... Hey, ah! did you know there's a big rocket ship parked out here? Cool! <sighs> you two try to find a way to jog Rob's memory. If he can remember just one thing, it might bring his memory back. Okay, come on, Emma. Let's go introduce Rob to Rob. Huh? <laughs> Hey, buddy, what you doing? I'm still trying to find your friend Rob, but I can't see him. Ah! <sighs> what are you doing? This is no time to watch a TV show. Yes, it is. This is a video of all the fun things we've done together. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Guess what? We found Rob. He's right up there. Really? He is? Hi, everyone. I'm Rob. <laughs> Here we go.
remember anything? <gasps> Who are we talking about again? At least his rocket boots still work. Rocket boots? I've got rocket boots? You mean I can fly? <laughs> uh oh. You know what? I can't remember how to fly. Repair manual now. Don't say that. We have to find it. We need to fix Rob. Huh? Uh, I can see you guys are busy, so I'll just head back home. Even though I can't remember where I live. I'll see ya. Oh no. He's leaving. It's no use. The Rob we knew is gone. His singing wasn't that bad. I'd do anything to have the old Rob back, silly singing and all. John Jacob, Jingle and I Schmidt. His name is my name too. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, they say, John Jacob, Jingle and I Remember that song? You do? Do you remember me? How could I forget you, Orbit, and Emma, and TK? I remember everything. Rob's back! Woohoo! And if Rob wants to sing, let him sing. We'll even join you. <laughs> <laughs> now that you mention it, there is one thing I'd like to sing about, and that's another. Hmm, another. Um, uh, another big mission accomplished! Yeah! <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? flying to the repair planet and trying to get that song out of my head, I accidentally erased my memory. TK Orbit and Emma tried hard to fix me. They felt bad when nothing worked, until their singing finally jogged my memory back. Memory is being able to remember things, like places you visited or fun times with your friends. Without those memories, we just wouldn't be the same. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Repair Planet! Hi, everyone! You're just in time! Emma's singing a song!
Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can make a movie of Emma singing her Rocket Girl song. An excellent idea. Okay, let's see where you can go. Ooh! The craft plan is a great place to make crafts, but not movies. Oh boy! I love the popcorn planet! It goes great with movies! It sure does. But let's go there after we make our movies. Yeah! The movie planet! That's the perfect place to record Emma's song. Yes, the movie planet. An excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. idea, Rob should be the director. The star has spoken. <laughs> Thank you, star Emma. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun. So, how do we start? Uh, I have an idea. Since Emma's song is about flying across the galaxy, we'll make the stage look like Emma's in outer space. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Let's get to work. <laughs> Hey, Rob! Is this a microphone? It sure is. Good work, Orbit. That records the sound of Emma singing. The camera records Emma's dancing. Yeah! And that's what makes a movie. Oh! Orbit, could you please stop that? I'm trying to concentrate. I'll try. But I could sure use some help! Oh, Director Rob, could you help Orbit? I need to get ready to perform. Phew! That was close. Thanks, guys! You're welcome, Orbit. Huh? Emma, why didn't you help Orbit? It's not the star's job to move equipment around. It's the star's job to give a good performance. And to do that, I need to rehearse. Now, if you'll excuse me, the star needs to do her vocal exercises. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Huh? Golly, what's wrong with Emma? It sounds like she thinks this movie is all about her, 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 her. It's a door in the floor. A secret door. It must be a prop room. That's where they store things, like furniture and costumes. It's just like TK's tummy trunk, only bigger and under the stage. Emma, we're going down to the prop room. Are you coming with us? The prop room? <laughs> I bet it's all dusty and dirty down there. That's no place for a star. Huh? Well, all right. Just be careful not to step on this floor switch, okay, Emma? It closes the door. Emma? <sighs> oh, um, okay. Have fun down there. Ooh, a guitar. This will be perfect for my rock star performance. Wow, there's so many props. Imagine all the movies we could make. And all the music. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no, this 
voice needs to be much louder. Hmm? That's not the volume control. Oh well, I've got to keep practicing. Hey, who closed the door? Emma, <laughs> open the door! Hey, Emma! Oh. on the floor switch and close the door, Emma. Even though we asked you to be careful. Oh, you mean this is all my fault? Oh no, I guess I was just too caught up in my practicing. I'm sorry. Huh? Huh? You've been doing all the work and all I've been doing is acting like a movie star. <sighs> when without you, we couldn't even make a movie. That's okay, Emma. We understand. And you're right about needing everyone to make a good movie. So let's make one, together. Really? Yeah. Let's get rolling. All right. Places, everyone. And action. Way up high, way up where comets race. Far away stars in outer space. Great performance by our star, Rocket Girl Emma! Hooray! Thanks, guys. But I couldn't have done it without you. You're the real stars of this movie. Thanks, Emma. And that's what I call a big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Everyone was so impressed by Emma's singing and dancing that we went to the movie planet to make a movie with Emma as the star. Being the star of the movie is important, but the work behind the scenes is just as important. Once Emma realized that, we made a movie that we can all enjoy. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Have a good egg hunt? Yeah! That sounds like we have a mission. 
you know what that means. <laughs> yeah! Uh, it's time for us to pick a planet. Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can hunt for eggs. An egg hunt? That sounds like a cracking good idea. Let's see where you can go. Golf planet? That's a great place to find golf balls, but not eggs. Oh. Origami planet? Who's ever heard of an origami egg? Not me. Perfect! Yes, the egg planet. An excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. on my hands. An egg emergency? A big egg emergency. I accidentally knocked over a big basket of eggs and six of them rolled away. I need to find all of them right now. We can help you. How hard can it be to find six eggs? Yeah, that's why we came to the egg planet, to have an egg hunt. Really? You'll help? Okay, but I warn you, it's not all it's cracked up to be. The eggs can be hard to find and catch. Ah, there's one now. Oh, gotcha. oh you come back here. Ah, there you go. Safe and sound. You did it. You caught the egg. One down, five more to go. Yoo-hoo! Little lost eggs! Shh! I hear something. Huh?
making me dizzy. Oh, gotcha! Wow, egg hunting is harder than it looks. We can do this. Ready? One, two, three! Orbit, we've got <laughs> a shoot eggs to find. Besides, these flowers are making me sneeze. Mm. Oh, it sounds like you're getting a cold, Emma. That wasn't me who sneezed. Well, if it wasn't you, then who? <laughs> oh, look, an egg! I found an egg. No way, I. You can't eggscape orbit! The Egg Hunter! Ha ha! I think we've got him, Orbit! <laughs> orbit, are you okay? I'm okay, but the egg got away. Ooh, those eggs sure are sneaky. see any eggs anywhere. Boy, they sure are good at hiding. We found two. That means we need to find four more eggs. But where could they be? Hmm. We're <laughs> in luck. Follow us. <laughs> All that running around must have tuckered them out. It's time for their egg nap. And look, they're fast asleep. Oh, they're so cute. If we're extra quiet, it should be easy to gather them up now. Now, Mr. Egg Warden. We need to sort the eggs into their special homes. The purple egg goes in the purple home. The blue egg goes in the blue. <laughs> the yellow egg goes... I know! In the yellow home! I guess the pink egg goes here. What do we do with this green one? One! There's only one green egg. There's supposed to be two. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. We're missing an egg. A green egg. Wait! I forgot! I put it in here for safekeeping. But why is it making that noise? <gasps> Uh-oh! <gasps> oh, no! It broke! Ooh! Wow! wow. A, A baby, baby chick. chick! How feathery! How cute! So this <laughs> isn't just an egg sorting station. It's an egg nursery! Yes, and thanks to all of you, these eggs will hatch into baby chicks. But I hope they weren't too much trouble for you. Are you kidding? That was the most excellent egg hunt ever! This is one big mission accomplished! Yay! <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Today we went to the Egg Planet, where we met the Egg Warden. He needed help finding and sorting some lost eggs. So we went on an egg hunt. It was hard work, but we eventually rounded up and sorted all of the eggs. Even the one hiding in TK's tummy trunk. We got to watch the eggs hatch into baby chicks. It was egg extraordinary. Wonderful. Mission accomplished. Now, I think it's time to go home. 
Time to buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Everyone, you're just in time. The gang and I are really shaping up. Actually, we're making shapes with clay. We've been making models of our favorite things. <coughs> we artists prefer to call them sculptures. Like my sculpture of a pair of dance slippers. And my sculpture of a wrench. And my sculpture of squeak. Wow. That's amazing, Orbit. I can't tell which is the sculpture and which is the real squeak. Oh! You're a very good artist, Orbit. Thanks! I love doing artwork. Now let's see your sculpture, Rob. Wow! It looks just like Rocket. Cool! That's amazing! Rockin' Rockets. It won't stand up. <laughs> Rockin' Rockets is right. Why does it keep falling over? I don't know. TK, could I borrow your anti-gravity controller? There! Huh? Now it's standing. Rob, isn't that cheating? I think you need to find a way to make it stand up on its own. You're right. But what did I do wrong? Why won't it stand up? Oh! Hey! Maybe there's a place we can go to help us figure that out! Yeah! That sounds like a mission! And you know what that means! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go to a place where we can find out why my sculpture won't stand up. All right. I think I can help you straighten things out. Let's see where you can go. Old West Planet? That would be great if we wanted to be cowboys. Yeah. But today we're artists. Yeah! <laughs> The museum planet. Maybe one day Rob's sculpture will be in a museum, but we'll need to fix it first. <gasps> the art planet. <laughs> I'll bet there's lots we can learn about fixing sculptures there. Yeah! Yes, the art planet. An excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the art planet. <laughs> what do you think of my model rocket, Rocket? Do you like it? Huh. It doesn't stand up straight like you do, but we're here to fix that. really weird work of art, but I like it. Me too. It doesn't look like anything I've ever seen before. That's 
just because art can be anything you like. It can come from your imagination, uh, or it can come from something real, like a big, strong robot holding up a planet. Oh, wow. I think I'd tip right over if I was holding a big, heavy planet like that. <laughs> Whoa. I like him. He looks really strong. Oh. Don't be sad, Rob. If we study how this robot stands up straight, maybe that'll tell us why your rocket keeps tipping over. <gasps> huh? Look, you guys! There's another sculpture over here! <laughs> Look at the way it twirls! Whee! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it makes me dizzy. <sighs> don't get too dizzy, Orbit. Yeah, you don't want to... <gasps> Clunk into anything. <laughs> I'm okay. <gasps> uh oh. Oh no! Look out! Ah! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Orbit, you broke the sculptures. Ah! I'm sorry. I didn't. Orbit. Mm. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Ah! Oh no! Those balls are going to wreck everything! What'll we do? We have to stop them and put those balls back where they belong before they ruin our planet. But they're so big and heavy, how can we stop them? Hmm. I have an idea! Watch me! Bob, what are you doing? You can't stop it on your own. Mm -mm. You're not Robot Atlas. Uh. He did it! He stopped it! Wow! Leave you up is a Robot Atlas. But now we have to put them in the right places. Uh, how in the galaxy can we do that? They're too happy to lift. <gasps> oh, I ruined our planet. Hmm. No, you didn't, Orbit. Nothing's too heavy. When we use my... Anti-gravity oh. controller. Yes, good thinking, TK. May I? Orbit, you're the artiste. Do you remember where these balls should go? I sure do. I remember exactly. The colored balls go there and there. That's one. That's two. because both balls are exactly the same. It's perfectly balanced. Look at me! I'm Robot Atlas! <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Good work, Rob. Uh, and how come he doesn't tip over? That's because he's standing very straight and perfectly balanced. Yeah, just like Rocket. <gasps> Look! My Rocket model isn't standing straight. It's crooked. See? It leans to one side. That makes it off balance. Which is why it keeps tipping over. Hmm. So, how can you fix it? It's easy. All I need to do is adjust the Rocket fins and... Rocket standing up! <laughs> and staying up! 
<laughs> and that's what I call a big mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? rocket sculpture kept tipping over, so we went to the art planet to find out how we could fix it. We were amazed by all the different kinds of sculptures artists make, but Orbit was too amazed and bumped into some of the sculptures. We found a way to fix them again, then discovered that when it comes to making your own sculpture, you have to keep it balanced so it won't tip over. As soon as I fixed the fins on my model, it stood up all by itself just like our big rocket. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. You're just in time to enjoy a sweet treat with us. Come on! <gasps> it's time to break out the marshmallows. Mm-mm. See where we can find more marshmallows? Yes! And that sounds like we have a mission! Yeah. You know what that means! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace to get a fresh supply of marshmallows. What a sweet idea. Let's see where you can go. The Pillow Planet. Pillows are soft and white like marshmallows, but you can't eat them. <laughs> the Book Planet? Hmm. That's a nice, quiet place to be mellow. But we want marshmallows. The Candy Planet. That's a great place to look for marshmallows. The Candy Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. It's marshmallows! 
Marshmallows? Yummy, yum! Here I come! Hello? <laughs> Hi! I'm Sweet Tooth! You can tell he loves sweets with a smile like that. Nice to meet you, Sweet Tooth. I'm Rob, and my friends and I were wondering if we could share in some of those tasty marshmallows. Wait! <laughs> I love marshmallows. Toothache, huh? I know what you need. The Cosmic Clean Toothbrush. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. If you brush your teeth for just two minutes twice a day, your teeth will stop hurting yeah. you, Sweet Tooth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Sweet Tooth, come back! We're just trying to help. Uh, oh. Hey, guys, what about our marshmallow mission? Hmm. <gasps> Whoa! There's tons of marshmallows down there. Sweet Tooth! Emma, huh? Emma! I found the Marshmallow Motherlow! <gasps> Come and check it out! Marshmallows? Should try. You'll be glad you did. Honest. Yeah, that's it. Keep brushing. Mmm, minty. See? Doesn't that feel great? Ooh, I love toothbrushing. Now you have the brightest smile on Candy Planet. Jump harder, Orbit? Not after eating all those marshmallows! Orbit and Emma are down there? Oh no! We've got to get you out of there! There's marshmallow geysers about to erupt! <laughs> Greasy gears! You're really stuck! Gear grease! Great idea, Rob! That's exactly what we need! The cave is gonna blow! Sweet tooth! Move! <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you! Oh! Come on, Emma! Come on, Orbit! Hurry! Nice teeth. 
brushed and watch those sweets. They'll stay that way. But I love sweets. A little bit is okay, but too many sweets in a day aren't good for you. I'll say, I don't want to look at another marshmallow. Me neither. Huh? Well, not for today anyway. But let's make sure we take some home for later. <laughs> Good idea, Emma. And I'd say that's a marshmallow mission accomplished. Yay! Yay! Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the candy planet to get more marshmallows and met a candy lover with bad teeth named Sweet Tooth. He needed us to teach him that too many sweets are bad and brushing your teeth is good. And after Emma and Orbit ate up all the marshmallows, they learned having too many sweets can leave you feeling pretty icky. And that sounds like the perfect ending to a successful mission. But now, it's time to head home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Sweet Tooth. Goodbye, Candy Planet. inside a rocket, whoa, floating through outer space. But for some reason, we're all floating inside the rocket too. Oh, huh? 18, 19, 20 pirouettes. Oh, Emma, please stop spinning. I, I think I'm going to lose my lug nuts. I would if I could, but I can't. Oh, oh. TK, can you see what the problem is? The gravity boosters are acting up again. We don't have any gravity in the rocket. That's the force that pulls everything to the ground. Ah, there we go. All fixed. Uh-oh. Ah! The floor. Yes. <laughs> exactly where my dreads belong. But we're astronauts, huh? Orbit. We should be good at floating in space. Maybe we just need to practice. Hey, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet! Pick a planet. Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can practice our astronaut skills. Okay, then. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Baseball planet? Hmm. That'll help with my curvo, but not our space skills. The bedtime planet? I don't think we need any practice sleeping. <laughs> yeah! The Space Camp Planet! Yes, the Space Camp Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt.
Next stop, the Space Camp Planet. aren't feeling as heavy now. Trainer. Astronauts, like us, spin inside it to get used to the feeling. <laughs> Why would we want to get used to feeling dizzy? Imagine if our rocket was whirling around in space. Even if we felt dizzy, we'd need to be able to work the controls. Give it a spin, Orbit. I don't know. Come on, Orbit. We want to be better astronauts, don't we? Sure. I guess. <laughs> this is pretty fun! Wow! <laughs> now try to turn it off while you're spinning! I did it! I think so. <gasps> <clears throat> Something's wrong with my voice box. It's a good thing you've got your tools, TK. Astronauts like us are ready for anything. Uh, almost anything. Ah! Ah! Watch out for the color! <laughs> oh, blaster. <laughs> Rob, the Robo Arm. Huh? Ah! 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 Hey, it's easier to move around if you just pretend you're swimming. Huh? Ah! Yeah, that is better. We need more 
gravity in here, guys! Remember, it's the force that pulls everything to the ground, even us. How are we gonna reach the controls? Wait, I know! My rocket boots! you learn on your mission? <laughs> we went to the space camp planet to improve our astronaut skills. Orbit gave the multi-axis machine a whirl to get used to spinning. But it wasn't long before things got out of control. You see, gravity pulls everything to the ground. When there was too much, it was too hard to move. But when there was too little, we floated in the air, and so did everything else. But what we learned most was that astronauts have to be ready for anything. And we were. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. talking funny because today is intergalactic act like a pirate day and I'm trying to act like a pirate <gasps> oh no what happened to your eye nothing orbit my eye is just fine it's a pirate eye patch there's more to being a pirate than just looking like one and talking like one isn't there hmm maybe there's a place we can go where we can learn how to act like pirates for real Oh, yeah! That sounds like a mission! And you know what that means! Yay! Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go to a place where we can learn how to act like real pirates. Or Well, shiver me timbers. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The clown planet. <laughs> that looks like fun, but we want to act like pirates, not clowns. Oh. <gasps> Pet Planet has a lot of pets to play with, but not a lot of pirates. Oh! Ah. Look! A Buccaneer Planet! <gasps> and Buccaneer is another name for pirate. Yeah! That's a great place for our mission! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, the Buccaneer Planet! Excellent choice! Get ready for countdown! Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts!
many hearties. What brings you back to this part of the galaxy? Today is intergalactic act like a pirate day, and we want to learn how to act like real pirates. And if anyone can teach us how to act like a pirate, Nosebump can. <laughs> well, I'd be honored to teach you how to act like me, the proper pirate way. Hooray! This is going to be fun. Thanks, Nosebump. Now, the first step to acting like a real pirate is sounding like a real pirate. Repeat after me. Arr, shiver me timbers. Arr, shiver me timbers. Well, scupper me supper. That was our righty mateys. You sound just like pirates, sure and true. We do? Great! Great! Oh, great. But there be plenty more to know about acting like a real pirate. So follow me, me hearty. Lesson. The next step to learning how to act like a real pirate is to learn a few real pirate steps. Oh, if you want to be a good pirate, it's best to listen to me. There's yo ho ho, and up we go over the briny sea. <laughs> Look at Nosebump go! <laughs> what kind of a dance is that? I know. It's called a jig. That's how real pirates dance. Sure and true, Miss Emma. Come on, everyone. Give it a whirl. Oh, if you want to be a good pirate, it's best to listen to me. Then it's yo-ho-ho -ho, and off we go over the briny sea. Stop the music. That's not the right way to dance a jig. Emma is a fine dancer. But you can't be adding spins or twirls to a pirate jig. It's the pirate way or no way. And the captain knows best. Okay, Nosebump. You're the expert. We want to act like real pirates do, and we'll do whatever you say. Yeah, that's the spirit. Now, it's on to your next pirate lesson. There be the perfect spot to bury me treasure. Because every pirate knows that X marks the spot. Hmm? Oh boy, oh boy. I wonder what kind of treasure is inside the chest. Gold? Silver? Precious jewels? <laughs> nope. Oranges. I love oranges. And we pirates always bury our most prized possessions. It's the pirate way. But that doesn't make much sense. You should keep oranges in a refrigerator so they don't go bad. Ah, that's true. I've lost many an orange this way and more bananas than I can count. But it's the pirate way. And it's the pirate way or no way. Huh? 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 Arr, shiver me timbers. I'm stuck! <gasps> Arr, belay that tugging and pulling! The only way to get a pirate out of a treasure hole is to dig him out! Huh? That's the pirate way! Aye, 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 Captain! So, where's your shovel? I buried it. The favorite shovel it was. But it's around here someplace. Here, it lies where the X marks the spot. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> we'll find that shovel the pirate way. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 we found it, Captain. We found your butter. Huh? So that's where those got to. They're for making me perfect pirate pancakes. Ice, Ice skates and comic, comic books? And a big bunch of balloons? Not just balloons, buccaneer balloons. In all me favorite colors they are. Yeah. 
This isn't working. There are too many X's. And it'll be dark soon. <gasps> Captain, I know you want us to dig you out the pirate way, but maybe there's another way to do that. But the pirate way is the only way. It's not the only way, Nosebump. Look, we can use the things we found to get you out. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> that slippery butter should do the trick. Now hold on, Captain, because here we yo ho ho go! <laughs> <laughs> Shiver me timbers! <laughs> Many thanks, me hearties. And I've learned me lesson. There's more than just the pirate way to get a deed done. <laughs> yeah. Like how eating oranges is better than burying them. Agreed. Well done. You're all officially pirates. Sure and true. Arr! 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 <laughs> thanks, Nosebump. I'd say this be another big mission. Accomplished. Arr! <laughs> uh, mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we wanted to learn how to act like real pirates. So we went to the Buccaneer Planet to learn from Nosebump the Pirate. Arr! He was really stuck in his old pirate ways and thought that the pirate way was the only way to do something right. But when Nosebump got stuck, he learned that it's important to try different ways to solve problems instead of sticking to the old way. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five. Four, three, two, one! Yay! Goodbye, Buccaneer Planet! aviator or pilot <laughs> she flew airplanes just like your model Rob it's a tail dragger airplane is that what this is cool <laughs> I think so I love all airplanes tail draggers in tricycle gear planes oh. biplanes and jets Wow <gasps> you know a lot about planes TK I just wish we could see a real one maybe we can there must be some place in the galaxy where we can see real old-fashioned airplanes. Yeah, and that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Everyone, how can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can see real airplanes. That sounds like a high flying idea. Let's see where you can go. Spare part planet? That's a good place to find airplane parts, but we don't want to build one. Book planet? We don't want to read about airplanes, we want to see them. The aviation! 
Ocean Planet. That's it. That's the perfect place to see old airplanes. Yes, the Aviation Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Gear airplane. Oh. Uh huh. And this one is a biplane. Oh. That one's a jet. Oh. <laughs> Those are tail dragger airplanes, similar to your model, Rob. Rob? Hey, wait for me!
you know. They've got some talent. But flying a plane is one thing, and landing a plane is a whole other bucket of bolts. Landing? I never even thought of that! I'm pretty sure Rob and Emma haven't thought of it either. Rob? Emma? Tell me you know how to land a plane! Land? Uh, well, not exactly. Rob? I've landed the rocket plenty of times, but not an old airplane. Rockin' robots. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. All right. Stay calm, follow my instructions, and you'll land the plane just fine. Roger that, TK. We're all ears. Okay. First, line up with the runway and put your flaps down. That'll slow you down. Check. Check. Now, pull back on the throttle. That'll slow you down even more. Roger that. Now, choose a landing spot on the runway. Emma, you come down first. Oh, I can't watch. That's it. Now cut the power and pull the throttle back. Okay, now what? you're okay. Thank goodness you know so much about planes. If it weren't for you, we wouldn't have landed safely. That's the plain truth, all right. We shouldn't have been up there. You saved us. Hooray for TK! I'd say this is <laughs> one sky-high mission accomplished. Yay! <laughs> mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So... What did you learn on your mission? <laughs> we went to the aviation planet to see real airplanes. Only Rob and I got carried away. Up, up and away, into the air. Flying a plane was fun, but landing it was a whole other matter. Thankfully, TK was there to help us. Following TK's instructions, we landed safely. Next time, we'll pay more attention to rules and not get carried up, up, and away. A soaring mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two. You're just in time for story time! We love Andy's adventure so much that I decided to write my own Andy the Android story. Ahem. <clears throat> Once upon a time, Andy the Android was flying through space. Andy flies to the top of a giant tower made of mattresses. <laughs> where the princess is trapped. But, oh! <gasps> Just as Andy was about to save the fairy planet princess from the wicked Robo Pigs, he. he. What? Um, well, that's the problem. I don't know what. Each time I think of an ending, it doesn't feel like the ending of a real Andy the Android story. Hmm. Maybe there's a place we can go that could help. A place to inspire the perfect ending to your story. Yes! What a great idea! That sounds like a mission! And you know what that means! <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet! Mission 
Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need help to find a great ending for my story. Oh, my. Sounds like a troubled tale. Let's see where you can go. The Exercise Planet? That's a great place for making muscles, but not for making up stories. Ball Planet is a great place for bouncing balls, but not for bouncing around story ideas. <gasps> hey! The Storybook Planet! That yeah. sounds perfect! Yay! Yes, the Storybook Planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! Familiar? Where are we? Weird. This house is made of straw? Gotcha. <gasps> and this one's made of sticks. And I bet the last house is made of bricks. These houses are from the Three Little Pigs. We're in a real story. Wow, now's my chance to see how a real story really works and ends. Well, I don't see any pigs around, so why don't we be the Three Little Pigs? Okay. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I guess that means I'm the Big Bad Wolf. Roar! <laughs> what happens next? something like that, Rob. Uh, it is a great ending, but I don't think it's right for my story. Let's keep looking. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> a giant pile of mattresses? Hey, I know this story. It's the princess and the pea, one of my favorites. Me too. In this story, they kept looking and looking until they found the one true princess. <gasps> <laughs> One princess, at your service. <laughs> hey, this bed has a bump in it. <gasps> I think I feel the pee. I still feel the pee. <laughs> Still feel it. <laughs> that must be one big pea. <gasps> hey, if Emma can feel that little pea under all those mattresses, then we found our one true princess. How's that for a fun ending, Rob? 
It's good, but I'm not sure how it fits into my story. I have a princess, but I don't have peas. <laughs> Rockin' robots! That's a giant beanstalk! So this story must be... Jack, Jack and the Beanstalk! Wow! <laughs> this story has a brave hero, just like my story. He rescues the goose that lays the golden eggs. Yeah, but this story also has a big, meanie giant. Aww. Be yeah. my uh. Stay away from my goose, or you'll hear from me. You see? Don't go up there, Rob. But how else will I see how this story ends? Don't worry, Orbit. I'll be careful. Yeah! <laughs> Mr. Giant, it is I, Rob the Robot. <gasps> oh no! The giant is chasing Rob! I've got it! You guys, I've got the golden goose! Be huh? my foe, foo! Put down that goose, or I'll get you! Ah! Look out! Ah! I don't think I like this story! You think Rob is okay? Oh, I hope so. I know so. I'm okay. Ta-da! Wow, you did it, Rob. He saved the goose that laid the golden eggs. <laughs> awesome! Super terrific! That was the most exciting ending ever. But there aren't any giants in my Andy the Android story. <sighs> I don't think there's one story on this whole planet with the right ending. Not for my story, anyway. <gasps> You're right, Rob. There isn't one story. There are three. Each of the stories we were in had bits and pieces that were also in your story. Remember? <gasps> Emma's right. There was a princess, a hero, and pigs. But how does that help my story? You can do it, Rob. You'll think of a great ending. Don't give up. Hey, that's it! Don't give up! That's the one thing in all three stories that's the same. Jack never gave up. In The Princess and the Pea, they never gave up looking for the princess. Even the three little pigs never gave up. And do you know what else? What? Andy the android never, ever gives up. <gasps> I think I know how to end my story. Yeah! Awesome! Yeah. Tell us, Rob! <laughs> it could go something like this. Andy flies to the top of a giant tower made of mattresses, where the princess is trapped. As the mean robo-pigs get closer, Andy and the princess leap up the tower, falling and falling until... the flying book swoops in to catch them, just in time. The end. <laughs> it's perfect! Thank you! And do you know what else? It's also another perfect mission accomplished! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the storybook planet, hoping to find just the right ending for my Andy the Android adventure story. It had lots of books filled with great stories, but none of them felt exactly like the story that I wanted to tell. I almost gave up, but thanks to my friends, I kept trying. And that's when I came up with the perfect ending for my story. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye.